If you are interested in getting into a crawling, I think this will be a great option. Since it's an RTR, it's pretty much ready to go out of the box with painted body, installed electronics, and a transmitter. Hey guys, welcome back to Big Song Hobbies. Today, I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look inside of an Element Enduro Ecto Trail Truck. As you know, I'm a big fan of Element RC since their first release of Enduro Sendero two years ago. A few months back, they had released Gatekeeper, but I had just purchased an Axio Capra, so I decided to pass it up at the time. Recently, they had announced Ecto, and it caught my eyes. It's basically a Gatekeeper minus the heavy cage body, going with the lighter and the narrower body design, extended the wheelbase and trailing arms as rear suspension, which should provide improved performance. If you are interested in getting into a crawling, I think this will be a great option. Since it's an RTR, it's pretty much ready to go out of the box with painted body, installed electronics, and a transmitter. It just requires a few items such as four AA batteries for the transmitter and a battery pack for the truck. So let's dive into the unboxing. One thing, be careful while opening the box as the box itself has a special feature. It doubles as a scare garage, a great feature from Element RC. The body is made out of Lexan and styled like an earlier American truck with scale details like the grille, window trimmings, hinges, and door handles. In the bed, it has dropped bed, a fuel cell cover, and a plastic roll bar. The roll bar is attached to the body from the inside. The Lexan body is much more rigid than the original body of the Sendero, and that's a great improvement. There are a few more scale accessories included in the parts bag, such as the side mirrors, antennas, and GoPro, but I won't be using them. I've lost or broken too many of them. It also comes with the manual and a great decal sheet that you can use to detail to your liking. The plastic front bumper on the Ecto is pretty nice and features non-working winch and a winch fair lead. I like that it's narrow, matching the width of the front end and it's attached to the chassis adding rigidity. Definitely looks to be functional while it has great looks. Ecto comes with a 1.9 inch plastic beadlock wheels with licensed General Grabber X3 tires and is 4.65 inches tall. It's a great scale looking tires, but it's a bit on the firm side. But my previous experience with grabber tires from the Sendero has shown that once it's broken in, it actually does fairly well, especially with a bit of modification. The wheel is mounted with a 12 millimeter hex system, so most aftermarket wheels will easily mount up if you want to upgrade the wheels or tires or both. As for the axles, Ecto uses the straight axle on both front and back. They've been bulletproof on my Sendero and it should continue to do so with the Ecto. It also uses BTA behind the axle steering, which puts the drag lick behind the axle which gives you a little bit more clearance on the rocks. One of the features that attracted me to Ecto is the use of trailing arm rear suspension. The arms are used in place of links and provides more shock tuning options and is supported by rear sway bar, which should help the rear end be more stable on rough terrains and help with climbing. Additionally, the wheelbase was increased from 12.3 inches to 12.8 inches. Half inch increase might not sound much, but I have noticed on my longer wheelbase rigs 
that it provides extra stability and helps with climbing. One downside of the longer wheelbase is that it does hurt the turning radius. To counter it, Ecto ships with 5% overdrive installed. This means that the front tires spins 5.7% faster compared to the rear, which greatly helps with steering radius and also helps with climbing elevabilities. Additionally, Ecto comes with additional overdrive gears that you can change to and get 11.83% overdrive. In other brands, overdrive gears are optional and typically cost around $40 to $50. So Ecto is a great bargain when you consider that to the overall price. One of the downsides of the Sendero and the Trailwalker was the use of the soft plastic, especially on the Panhard mount. Over time, it became very flexy and caused issues with steering. But they fixed it on Ecto. The Panhard mount and servo mount are now made out of metal. Ecto has integrated servo and winch mounts up front, and they are chassis mounted servos. All the links on the front and the rear uppers are made out of metal links. They are 5mm thick, so should be quite durable. The drive shafts are plastic with aluminum center spline, and they've been bomb proof on my Sendero. Team Associated makes one of the best RTR shocks and it's no exception with Ecto. Aluminum threaded shock bodies are used on all four shocks. Also, they added different shock mounting positions using metal inserts on the shock tower. As for the electronics, it comes with a 550 can size 5 slot 14 turn ready crawler motor. The 5 slot offers smoother action than the 3 slot motors. For ESC, it comes with the SC48X brushed ESC. It's compatible with 2S and 3S light bulbs and comes with the Dean's T style plug. It also comes with really 15 kg servo that is rated at 173 ounces per inch, which is fairly durable, especially for RTR servos. The motor, the ESC, and the servo, all of them are water resistant. So it's okay to get them wet, except for the XPR4 receiver. You will need to either confirm or coat it, or put it in a balloon to make it waterproof before you get the Ecto wet. As for the battery tray, it comes with a Shorty battery tray installed. I recommend using Shorty LiPo battery, but in case you want longer runtime, Ecto does come with a wider battery tray, but you will need to do a little bit of modification as it's too wide for the narrow Ecto body. Out of the box, Ecto has a great weight distribution to start with. It has 56% front weight distribution and 44% rear, with overall weight of 2,232 grams. I normally use 1300 milliamp 3S LiPo. With it, the weight distribution changes to 58% front and 42% rear, with overall weight being 12,352 grams. In summary, Element Enduro Ecto promises to be a great performing truck out of the box and at a great value with all the built-in features. I am super excited to take this rig out for its first testing, so stay tuned for my next video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching Bigs and Hobbies.